a month ago we moved our farm, which means we moved ourselves, uh, we moved all of our farm gear, we moved our house, and we moved all the animals. And throughout the past several videos, you've seen a lot of the ducks, a lot of the chickens, a lot of the new chicks, you've seen the goats, but who you haven't seen a lot of is Walter, our livestock guardian dog. And no one asked for this, but I thought I would take you along today as I introduce Walter to more of the property. If you haven't met Walter before, I will link to a video above. Uh, Walter is a Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd mix. He's our livestock guardian dog, so that means he helps protect our chickens and ducks and goats and well, even our cats from predators. So I know that Walter has protected from coyotes, bobcats, foxes, raccoons, and he is just an incredible dog. And he's a working dog, right? So he is, up until we moved, a very busy dog because he not only uh, protects our animals from outside predators that are coming onto the land who are not invited, but he even protects um, some of our animals from each other. The dogs getting after one another, any of the dogs fighting with the goats. Walter is the ultimate patrolman. He's the sheriff here in our little Z farm town, and we love him. Walter has been in a small Finston area with the goats. Uh, he has access to this area of the barn uh, where he is living currently with the goats and the chickens and making sure that nothing gets in here at night. Soon, Walter's, you know, area that he will be patrolling, I apologize for this rude rooster, soon the area that he will be patrolling will be much larger. And I want to take him out today, take him for a walk, introduce him to some more of the property and just, well, get some quality time with my baby doggy, my 140 pound baby doggy who, who happens to also be the best boy. Oh, Walter, hi baby. Oh, are you taking good care of the goat this morning? Hmm? You two are gonna stay here, but Walter is gonna go with me, right buddy? Walter dog, you're gonna go with me and we're gonna go walk around the property. How's this sound? Can you not eat my pants, Paul? Oh, thanks. So Walter is a livestock guardian dog, which means he doesn't have leash time, generally speaking. So usually if Walter's on a leash, that means he's going to the vet. He hasn't been on a leash a lot since he was about a year old and he was learning the other property. I like to be able to do this sometimes when we're not taking him to the vet uh, so that he can know that it's a good and happy thing to be on a leash. Let's go. Walter, sit. All right, you wanna go for a walk? Let's go, buddy. So I'm just gonna let him sniff around. And uh, this isn't any sort of formal training. I'm just kind of letting him know that, you know, this is his new area. This is his new, his new land to protect because he hasn't been able to sniff around very much yet. He's just been kind of in this enclosed fenced area. And I think it'll be really good for him to figure out the sense of the land. Oh, you hear your goats? It's okay. It's okay. They're fine. So for Walter, there are a lot of new scents for him to get used to here. There are, you know, he's <laughs> not used to cow poop, that's for sure. Um, 
there's a lot of things that are familiar too, right? All of our animals are here, so the goats, the cats, the ducks. Um, the only thing new that we've added are the chicks. We are familiar, fami we're getting Walter familiar with things by keeping him in closer quarters with the animals right now. Now Walter would choose to do that probably, but right now they're in a much smaller space so that they really identify the barn as home, right? So he knows that that's his home base and he knows that that's what he needs to protect. <laughs> Every day. I'm not going to be able to make videos anymore because you guys are so annoying. finally in the water and now they're out. Walter what do you think? Well what do you think buddy? I'm excited because obviously Walter is very interested um, it's like he's ready to be out here he is going to be in a very large space soon um, he has to be in a fenced area because even though he is the protector, even though he's the protector of our land and he wants to be near to us, he will chase things off, he will leave, um, he will follow noises and things and Pyrenees themselves are prone to do that. Um, they're prone to wander and we like that he's mixed with Anatolian because their breed is less likely to wander, okay, but he's, he's still a dog, okay. And they can believe that their area that they need to protect is up to two miles wide, okay? So two miles by two miles. So that is why Walter is not just out everywhere right now. Um, we wanna make sure that we have adequate fencing to support him. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? Hmm? Much like us, this hill is not his favorite. <laughs> and I can see him chasing something off towards the bottom of this and then being like, ooh, I'm gonna take my time on the way up. Moving any dog can be really hard, right? When you're taking them out of a familiar place to somewhere new. It's especially difficult for livestock guardian dogs because if you think about it with their jobs, uh, what they spend so much of their life doing um, is dependent on that property, right? It's dependent on them learning and knowing and understanding that property, knowing where there are gaps in the security, right? And so moving Walter for us, it was super important that as little that had to change is what we changed, right? Changing the property was big enough. So obviously keeping his food the same, um, keeping the goats and the chickens near to him. Uh, we set up the cat room in a very similar situation so the cats are with him. Um, and then our voices, right? And so even though we have family 
at this property. We have a rule right now that you can't visit Walter without us um, because one, he's a big boy, and two, um, we just want him to know that everything's okay. And that's the best way that we could come up with to do that, right? We're not experts. Um, but I know and can understand that leaving a property is hard enough for a livestock guardian dog and then to just permanently uh, be on a new property, probably pretty hard. It's hard, it's hard for me too. All right, I'm gonna take our boy back in, get him settled, give him a treat. What do you think? Was that fun? Come on, let's go. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Walter or livestock guardian dogs in general, again, I'm not an expert, but this is our sixth year with Walter and uh, we've learned a lot. Comment below any questions. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of all the latest happenings here on the farm. I'll see you next time. <laughs>